The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. 16th chapter, text number 6, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 13th of December, 1976, in Hyderabad, India. There are two classes of men within this world. Daiva, Asura, Vivacha. One class of men is called Daiva, Devota, or the demigod, and the other class, Asura. Sura means civilized, and Asura means not civilized. Uh, Pirata Huna under Pulin the Bukkasa, Vida Samba, Javana Kasadaya. These are uh, amongst the non civilized men. On Monday, the kings of Bharat Varsha, India, they used to kill this uncivilized man. Bad example. They did not follow the basic civilization. So the king's order was that uh, they should be killed. If they are too much prominent, they just like they were hunting in the forest. So this, there is history among, uh, uh, about King Bharat, King Bharat under whose name this uh, planet is called Bharat No, not that Bharat. There are three Bharat. One Bharat is the son of Rishabdev. Another Bharat is the son of Maharaj Dushanta. Another Bharat is the younger brother of Lord Ramchandra. Out of these three Bharats, the son of Rishabdev is uh, the person after whose name this planet is called Bharatvarsha. So another Bharat, Bharat, was the son of Maharaj Dushanta. He was very powerful, supposed to be a partial incarnation of God. So in his life he would not allow the uncivilized man to exist. He was king, he used to kill them. Uh, why uncivilized man, even the Kshatriyas, if they are not ruling properly according to the Kshatriyas, Kshatriyas are supposed to be the ruler of the world, but if they are deviating from their duties, uh, Parsharam, the Brahmana, you kill them. Uh, on the whole, in the Vedic civilization, everyone should be in order. That was the uh, setup. Nobody can act uh, independently, killing the human civilization. 
that was not possible. Maharaj Prithu was personally checking whether people are following the Varnasam Dharma. A Brahmin must follow the Brahminical rules and regulations, otherwise he would not be allowed to call himself a Brahmana. Similarly, Chatriyas, Vaishyas, Sudras. This is called secular state. Secular state does not mean everyone is irresponsible. You must be responsible for your particular type of duty. And the government has to see it that everyone is doing that. That is secular state. Lord Ramchandra, when he returned from the forest, in his absence Bharat was ruling, and when Bharat requested Lord Ramchandra to take charge of the kingdom, Lord Ramchandra was ready, but he first of all examined whether the citizens were following the Varnasam Dharma. When he was satisfied that the citizens were following the Varnasam Dharma, then he took charge of the kingdom and began to maintain them just like father. This is the relationship between the government and the citizen. The citizens must be law-abiding and the government must uh, um, rule over them just like father. Father is not unaffectionate, father is affectionate. And even the father chastises the son, that is not out of affection, that is also affection. So that was the relationship. So the Osuras, they do not know these things. Uh, only the Devutas, they know. So there are two kinds of men, Gaur Bhutasat Gaur Lopyas, means Daiva Asur. So Krishna says, Daiva Vistara Saprokta. Krishna has already explained in the beginning which are the qualification of the Devuta. And what are the qualifications of the Asura? So qualification of the Devata Abhayam Satta Samsiddhi Jnana Yoga Bhavastiti Dhanam Damascha Jagascha Sadhaya Stavvajabam Ahinsha Sattam Akrodham Tyaga Shanti Rapaishanam Jaya Bhuteshu Aloruktyam Adamam Hi Achapalam Teja Chama Dhiti Saucham Adroha Natimanita Bhavanti Sampalana Daivin Abhijata Sabhara. These are the qualifications. Daivu Sampa Abhayam. Well, one should be fearless. Who can become fearless? The, one of the qualifications of condition so is fearfulness. Uh, only a person who is advanced in Krishna consciousness, he can become fearless. Uh, and Sattva Sangsuddhi, Sattva Sangsuddhi, our, this Sattva existence has, uh, position is uh, uh, impure, diseased. Therefore, we die. Uh, again, take by uh, So, Sattva Sangsudhi wants to try to purify his existence. For that purpose, there is necessity of tapasya. Tapodibhanga putraka jena suddheta satya. 
Prabhu Swami is fascinating. If you want to cure your disease, then you must uh, follow some austerities, rules and regulations. One man is suffering from diarrhea. If he is allowed to eat whatever he likes, then he will never be cured. He must uh, observe fasting for a few days, then it will be cured. This is Sattva Sangsiddhi. So we are put into the cycle of birth and death. If we don't correct it, correct means we shall be less attached to the material environment. So long we are attached to material environment, we have to transmigrate from one type of body to another. So, uh, Vaibhu Sampad means those who are devotas, their first business is how to rectify this disease condition of life, the reputation of birth and death. Hmm, everything is there. Sattva Sangsuddhi jnana. This requires jnana, knowledge, unless I know what is my position. Why I am dying? What is death? This is called jnana. Jnana vijnana maasikam brahma karma sabhavaja. That means we have to become a brahmana. Then you will have complete knowledge. Avayanga sattva sattva suddhi jnana yoga jnana yoga bhavasthiti dhanam those who are Kshatriyas, Bhrishas, they should give in charity. That is also one of the Sattva Sangsiddhi. Dhamasya, to control over the mind and the senses. Jagyasya, perform this Jagya, Harishankita, in this age. Jagyasya, Sadhaya, Vasrid. Vedic literature, stapa, ajavam, tapasya, austerity, ajavam, very frank, no duplicity, ajavam.